All right, welcome back. The NSA secretly collecting phone and Internet records for millions of American citizens. Uh, where would it save that massive amount of data? Well, it could be right here at a brand new two billion dollar facility in Utah. What do we know about this mysterious building in the middle of the mountains? Connor Boyack is the president of the Libertas Institute. It is based in Utah and he may have some insight. Connor, thanks for joining us. What's going on in this massive two billion dollar building? Anyone's best guess, of course, right? The NSA is quite secretive. They announced its creation about four years ago. It's set to scheduled to be complete in September of this year. We interviewed this week uh, William Binney. He's a 30-year veteran of the NSA, now whistleblower, and he estimates that uh, there will be yottabytes of data. People are familiar with gigabytes. Well, a, a yottabyte is a billion gigabytes and then a million of those, a million billion gigabytes. And so it's mass quantities of storage to be able to harvest and, and analyze, collect all the data that we've learned this week is now being surveilled on American citizens. What is to prevent the NSA from taking this data and targeting specific political groups? Of course, this could probably never happen, right? Certainly on the heels of the DOJ investigation and the IRS scandal right. going after conservative groups. What's to stop the NSA from using this information? Quite literally nothing. In fact, this week I uh, chatted with a U.S. senator who said that trying to get data from the NSA on what they're doing with this uh, information is like trying to pull a tooth from a dragon. Very frustrated that even a U.S. A sitting senator is unable to find out what the NSA is doing. And of course, we're being told now by the government, now that they're put on the defensive, that, well, you know, the courts are reviewing this, Congress is reviewing this. Uh, that's quite, you know, untrue. In fact, the FISA court, which was established to review all of this, is, is just rubber stamping everything. Whose government is this exactly? Exactly. I thought it was ours. You know, the White House keeps saying that members, you know, Congress knew about this. They were briefed 13 times. Mm -hmm. The truth is, apart from a very few senior committee chairmen, for example, nobody in Congress knew the details of this because the details are classified. Not only that, but the American public is being lied to. We, we say that we have a representative government, and yet you have uh, James Clapper, the director of national intelligence, as recently as March, saying we're not doing this. It's absolutely untrue. The NSA spokeswoman said the exact same thing, and yet now we learn this week, of course, that those are bald-faced lies. Uh, many congressmen, as you note, are in the dark about this as well. It's extremely troubling. I think a dragon is an appropriate analogy to make, a mythical creature that true. perhaps or does not exist. I think that's an appropriate yeah. analogy. Connor, uh, great to see you this morning. We appreciate you joining us and bringing this information from Utah. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.